Hello YouTube and these are my top free jailbreak tweaks for iOS 7 after the evasion jailbreak. So coming in at number 10 we have Zeppelin. There is no repo required so once you finished installing just head into the settings app and go into the Zeppelin and you can enable or disable it and basically what allows you to do is customize your carry logo into any one of these and you can even add your own which you can download from the Cydia um, app. Next up is NC All Only and if you're like me and don't use the Today and Miss tab in your notification center after installing this tweak, you can disable any one of these. You don't necessarily have to disable both. You can just disable one of them and poof, they are gone. Definitely go check this one out. This lock screen tool and what it allows you to do is either remove your camera grabber or change the slide to unlock text on your lock screen. So as you can see, I have removed the slide to unlock text and replaced it with nothing. And basically how I achieved that was by in the writing text field to replace your slide to unlock text, I just had the space bar so technically nothing is there. Definitely go check this one out if you're interested in changing the slide to unlock or removing your camera grabber from your lock screen. Next we have dark shift. Now take a look at my iOS 7 dark or a dark running on your iOS 7 device. Now look at it again and you will notice that the opaque rounding of it has been gone and I achieved this with dark shift. It basically allows me to customize my iOS 7 dark and I like to put it on transparent as it removes the entire opaqueness of it and just lets me view my wallpaper. Definitely check this one out. Now have you ever accidentally killed one of the apps running in the background in your multitasking switcher which you do not want to kill? Well with confirm kill settings it gives you a notification every time you try to kill the application you select and um, it gives you the option to either cancel or to kill it. So in the settings of this tweak you basically select which apps you like to be notified with that notification if you do swipe up on it during the notification uh, the multitasking menu. So I just selected camera and now it's asking me whether I would like to kill it or just cancel. So definitely check this one. I found this really handy as I don't like to close my messages app. So yeah check this one out. Now when the iOS 7 jailbreak was first launched, one of the first few tweaks that gave you the functionality was to kill all the apps in your multitasking switcher very easily. And I use a tweak called Purge to do this functionality. Basically just hold down on your springboard icon when you engage the multitasking menu and it'll ask you whether you'd like to kill all applications and then it is gone. So definitely go check this one out, it is called Purge. Now one thing I do not like about the default iOS 7 folders is that when you launch it, your apps are surrounded by an opaque layer. Now with this tweak clear folders, it removes that opaque layer so it gives you a very nice and sleek and elegant look at your wallpaper which I find really really nice. So if you like uh, these type of clear folders, you might want to check this tweak out. Next up is CC settings and if you notice my control center icons are a bit different. Now basically what this tweak does is it gives me more settings in my control center so I can power off, reboot, respring my device which is very handy for jailbreakers. But I can also toggle on my Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, auto rotation and many more. So it, gives, it saves me the manual way of doing it through the settings and I all around love this tweak. Next up is Hidden Settings 7, so you access it after downloading through your control center and basically it gives you ultimate customization over your phone from the lock screen to the folders. It's kind of like the spring tomize of iOS 7 while waiting for the spring tomize tweak to be updated at the time of filming this video of course. Now, well, I mean like it was going to take me an entire video to cover off all the functionality this tweak has to offer so I'll rather leave the exploring up to you and it's free so why not just check it out you know 
Now usually when we download an app from the app store, it gives us that annoying blue dot beside it to indicate it's a new app and it hasn't been opened. Now with the, this tweak, it basically removes that dot every time you download a new application from the app store. In this case, I'm downloading the 12 Days of Gifts app. And as you can see, once it is finished, you will not see the blue dot. There you go. That is proof. However, some people may say I may have opened it off camera. I guess I guess the only way is that you have to check it out yourself to see uh, if it actually works. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. It does help me out a lot. And I'll catch you on the next video.